Hello everyone, Oliver Draper, Training and Show Manager for Hike Vision. What I'm going to show you today is uh, our new uh, colour view pan and tilt camera. So it's a pan and tilt camera which sort of makes it for easy installation so you can mount this on your wall and then position the camera quite easily through the web interface. Uh, it's also our colour view camera so it's got our colour view technology in there, uh, f1.0 super aperture uh, allowing the camera to capture four times more light than a conventional uh, lens, uh, as the advanced sensor in the back and also in a zero light environment will emit a soft warm light out onto the scene as well. Uh, allowing the camera to maintain a colourful image in a zero light environment. Now in addition to the colour view technology, it also has our AccuSense templates in there as well for our uh, false alarm reduction. Meaning we can also uh, do classification target, is it human and or vehicle. That way you won't get the false alarms uh, caused by things such as headlights hitting the driveway or leaves blowing across or cats and dogs walking to the scene, uh, therefore it will, should reduce down those false alarms in there. And it also has two-way audio as well, so it's got a uh, microphone in there so you can listen to what's going on in the scene and also has a speaker there as well, uh, so again it can, uh, you can actually speak out of the camera as well. Um, in addition to that as well, it also has the uh, audio out in respect to where you can actually get the camera to uh, speak out a pre-recorded phrase uh, when a line crossing or intrusion detection is triggered. Uh, in addition to that as well, it also has a little blinking flashing light in there to warn away intruders. So what we'll do, we'll pop up on the box, take a look inside and see exactly what you get. Okay, so let's take a look at what we get inside. So, inside the box, you've got your waterproof attachment for your um, Cat5 cable. Your self amalgamating tape so you can make the uh, connections uh, waterproof. Use your pack of screws. Power adapter, and then inside the actual camera itself. So here it is, it actually comes uh, already on the bracket itself, so you don't need to buy some bracket, uh, nor do you have to uh, really mess around with actually trying to mount a separate bracket itself. Take this off. There we are. So it's a fixed lens, this one. It's a four megapixel lens, and it's got its pan and tilt capability as well. Um, all come pre mounted on the bracket. Inside there, you've got your attachments for your uh, RJ45 cable, and then you've also got the uh, separate power supply, uh, should you wish, as well. On the front of this camera, uh, what we've got there is that's the speaker out that you've got in there as well. Uh, it's got the microphone built in at the bottom there, soft warm light at the bottom, which portrays actual physical light onto the scene in a uh, zero light environment. And then just above there as well, we've got a little uh, light in there, which is a little strobe light, which can flash away uh, when it triggers an event of some sort. So what we'll do, we'll get this mounted now and we'll take a look and see exactly what the camera can do. So here it is mounted on this uh, tripod here at the moment. Uh, all I've done with this camera so far is I've activated by giving it a password, give it an IP address. Uh, and I've also just set up a line crossing uh, up and down in front of the screen uh, at the moment that you're seeing this on. Uh, and what I'll do, I'm just going to trigger uh, that line crossing and we'll see what happens. So as I saw there, as I triggered the line crossing, uh, it flashed its little uh, strobe light on there, uh, and also we had the uh, audio out as well. Uh, there are uh, up to 10 pre-recorded phrases uh, that you can actually configure the camera to actually uh, uh, speak out, as well as a, a siren option um, as well. As I mentioned, it does have a built-in microphone as well, so when the line crossing is triggered, using your mobile phone app, you can actually speak out through the camera as well, and also be able to listen back to what someone is saying uh, in the scene um, as well. AccuSense technology, so it should only trigger for human and or vehicle, depending on which one you uh, configure the camera to actually activate uh, for as well. So what we'll do, we'll now take a look and see what the colour view technology is like. So I've got the camera currently hooked up uh, to a monitor at the moment. I've put it in similar proximity uh, to the uh, camera that you're watching this on right now. 
Um, so what I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to uh, turn off these lights and we'll take a look and see what the comparison is, what uh, the colour view camera can see in comparison to what you can see on the camera we're filming this on at the moment. So there we are, I've uh, got all the lights uh, switched off in here now. Um, as you can see on the camera that you're watching at the minute, you're probably struggling to make me out. You might just be able to get a silhouette to come through with me, but other than that, you're really struggling to make me out. However, the colour view uh, pan tilt camera, as we can see, is being able to maintain a full colourful image and not loss any detail uh, whatsoever. Uh, the white light is not even engaged on the camera at the moment, so it's using the ambient light you can see in the scene in order to give us this image. If the light level dropped even further, then uh, the white light would be engaged on the camera, uh, therefore gu guaranteeing us that uh, fully colourful image. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn the lights back on now and then we'll take a look and uh, see what this is like afterwards. So there you have it, uh, a truly amazing uh, bit of kit. Um, if you do want any further information on this device, uh, please go to the uh, link below. Alternatively, uh, as always, uh, scan the QR code. Uh, they should be able to give you some more details uh, on the device, including the data sheets. Uh, as always, speak to your distributor and they'll be able to give you the information as well as the prices associated.